For the first time ever, Oconee County has a shelter for victims of domestic violence. WIFF News 4 has covered the need in that area for more than a year. Tonight, News 4's Mandy Gaither takes us inside this place that is a safe haven by design. This shelter can hold up to 16 victims, and today we're getting a first look inside at the renovations. It's been a long road, but Kay Davis will tell you it was well worth the travel. It is hard to believe that. It. <laughs> It's all, it's all come to fruition. When Davis was in an abusive relationship, there was no place for her to go. For the first time, victims of domestic violence in Oconee County had somewhere to turn. I didn't want to take that option to go to, to Greenville or, or elsewhere because it, it just didn't make sense. I had to get to work. More than a million dollars was raised to buy this house and keep the doors open for three years. Not only does the shelter provide a living area and beds for victims, but counseling, living skills classes, and advocacy along the way. There is a, a high-tech security system. We're in a confidential location, and we have 24-hour staff. In 2012, there were three murder-suicides in three months in Oconee County. Safe Harbor Executive Director Becky Callahan says that's when the organization knew something had to be done. We did not want another woman losing her life. And today, that dream of a shelter officially became a reality. And any victim needing emergency help can call Safe Harbor at number 1-800-291-2139. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Oconee.